Well, I broke a bunch of my Tiki mugs, but I got some new ones. So in today's video, we are going to do an unboxing. And I'll tell you a little bit about Tiki mugs. Welcome to the Average Me Channel. I'm Mark, and if you look at this shelf to my left, you will see that it is empty. And unfortunately, I was doing some things around the area. I knocked it, down it came, and it broke two of my Tiki mugs. One of those we got a long, long time ago. My wife and I, I believe that we got it. This is, I guess, best of my recollection. I think we went to a program, a, uh, a dinner show that had South Pacific playing and I think that's where we got the green tiki mug. The other one that broke is the cool headed monkey. That was a really neat looking tiki mug and we got that from Jock Lindsay's uh, the hangar bar at Walt Disney World. So that's a Disney spring so I don't know when the next time is I'll be going back there but I wanted to replace uh, the one and I did find online at Amazon if you want to link down below you can see the collection that I purchased and I found a, a mug that I think is an exact duplicate so they arrived and first of all let's take a look at the box so the box has a neat tiki design it says tiki mug and on the side it has tiki bar rules so let's look at these rule number one alcoholic beverage consumption upon these premises is encouraged well okay we'll go along with that at least every thursday on this channel right sobriety is strictly prohibited i don't know about that i know it's just fun but we'll go along with it number three drinking is mandatory and number four Oh, my favorite one. Clothing is optional. <laughs> I shouldn't say it's my favorite one. You do not want to see that on this channel. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Number five, if you're still standing, you need another tiki cocktail. All right, so we're going to open this up and we're going to see the tiki mugs that I got. So as we go, oh, look at this. Okay, so the first thing I have, oh, I was hoping this was going to be something that had a, um, a tiki recipe, but it just says here that it is fragile and things may have broken, and if it did, you should contact them. So that's good. I'll put that aside. And look at this. Happy holidays. All right, since it's September, I don't know if this is like three months early or eight or nine months late, I don't know. Oh, I wasn't expecting this, it says it's a gift. So what we have here are some um, metal straws. I guess they're stainless steel. They feel like aluminum. Aluminum straws and a brush, a brush to clean the straws. So that's kind of neat. The problem is they're really thin. These are thinner than a McDonald's straw. So for a lot of tiki drinks, um, it may be a problem uh, getting that. Uh, you certainly wouldn't want to drink a milkshake with this, but I will try it. Next time that we make a, a cocktail, uh, maybe I'll go back and I'll you know, pick out something uh, just real traditional uh, down here in Florida, of course, mojito. It's not really a tiki drink, but nevertheless, I will try something and see how well these work. So let's start with what looks like, they're all wrapped up, so I'm not sure, I'm just looking at the top. But this looks like the one that will replace the one that I broke. So as we look at this, yeah, I think this is an exact replica of the one that I've had for over 20 years. And um, we'll never know. We'll put it back up here on the shelf. I'm not gonna do it here during the, uh, during the show. But I'll have that up on the shelf and there it is. So that is, I'm feeling good because that replaces one of the two that I broke. Next time I visit Disney, I'll go to Jock Lindsay's and maybe we can replace the other one. We'll put that right here. Okay, what is this one? Oh, this looks like a real, uh, typical standard tiki mug. It's sort of like, um, Ned at the museum, a little guy that said, um, you know, dum dum gum gum. It's got a little 
imperfection on the lip. That doesn't bother me so much because it's supposed to look like a wood carving anyway. I don't know if it's a, a blemish or something, but I don't care. I think it's a really neat looking tiki mug. It looks very traditional. So we'll put him down here. I think I know what this one is because one of the four was supposed to look like a warrior. And I think that's, oh, this looks neat. This is going to be a really nice addition. I think this is the one I might put on. Oh, <laughs> all right. So there, this looks a lot better than it did online. I like the contrast of the dark brown against the ivory. It looks really, really neat. Um, I don't think he has any eyes here. He's kind of wearing a mask. He's got the ugly grimace. And um, yeah, not perfect along the bottom. Those little perfections, really they don't bother me. These mugs, I think they were about $36 for four of them. So we're talking $9 a mug for nine bucks. Um, yep, I gotta show you the back. He's been pantsed, so <laughs> he's got his little wooden backside there. <laughs> so, so there you go, his jaw is jutting out like Jay Leno. And I really, really like this one. This, this is great. I might put this one up on the shelf until I get a replacement for the Jock Lindsay mug. And this last one, I know what it is. It's going to be, the parrot, very colorful. And there you go. I saw a lot of these online in different colors. It's a nice one. It's got uh, the beak, so it's a black and white and yellow motif to it. It looks like it had a, a hand sponged perhaps to uh, get the modeling effect. I really like this one. Now, is this tiki? This is very tiki, about the most, what I consider to be a tiki look. This kind of more Easter Island, but I like it nevertheless. It's, it's a good representation of tiki. This, yeah, obviously this one has been around for several decades because I got my first one a long, long time ago. So certainly tiki. This one, is it tiki? I don't know. Um, I like it a lot. If I put it on display, I'll probably put it on display in profile or three quarters profile because that way you'll be able to really see, uh, you know, all of the shape and contours. If you're looking straight on, I don't know if you get quite as much of it. What do you think? If you're looking at straight on, three quarters or complete profile. I think the three quarters gives it uh, the best look of all. So we'll probably do that. I just think going straight on is probably the, the least effective for this one. I'd almost like to, is there anything else in there? No, that's it. I would almost like to do something with the box. The box is just so neat, isn't it? Uh, it's got a, a nice decoration to it, and it has that funny little rules of the tiki bar. I mean, it's it's just brown cardboard, so it's not like I'm gonna take that out and you know turn it into a piece of artwork and frame it or anything. But there's something about it that's kind of neat. I, it'll probably just end up going in the recycling at the end of the week. So those are my mugs. We'll take a close-up look at them. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I hope you had a good time looking at my new collection of mugs. There are some online that, you know, you can buy a collection of eight or 10. Um, if you want to start a tiki mug collection, or just have a few mugs for when friends come over to add a little variety and fun. I would really recommend uh, buying this set or a set similar because it, it gives you a great variety and it's really uh, a nice starting point if you want to start a collection or it's just a great focal point if you just want to have 
you know, uh, two, three, four of them. So I'm gonna put that link down below. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking my face in the corner. And don't forget to ring that bell icon. That way you'll know when I post new videos. I'll see you here on Thirsty Thursday. See what we make in these. I'm Mark and this is the Average Me Channel.